So hi there, welcome to lesson seven, the final lesson in module seven. And we'll just be talking about basic geographical data. And we have three basic geographical data and they will greatly help you how you see them represented, especially in the uh, data. So we have the point data, sorry, I, I got too fast. We have the point data, we have the line data, we have the polygon data. So point data, as its name denotes, usually has an X variable, a Y variable, and a Z variable. And usually, of course, in the data, they are not really supposed to, you know, they're supposed to be scattered. But usually they may have a pattern. Sometimes some may be clustered to one, and the other three, like you are seeing in this case, clustered in another place. And that in itself may be an outlier. For example, they're supposed to be in the same community, go to the same community, but it seems three people are far apart. So things like this happen in data, but you can't see that on tables. You have to map them or put them on a map, you know, so you may find that pattern for points. Now, really points, when they come together, they form lines, you know, they could be curved, or they could be straight and they could have any other shape you know but the whole idea is that sometimes you want to find the path of a road a path of a river you know and they go through points so they did not search for a point because a point a, I mean a line a line may be made up of several points that's what i want to establish and that when you coordinate them together they form a line so that is how we have geographical information for lines. Very important that you know all these things, like I mentioned. So the way you are reviewing data, you can say, for example, if a river has crossed its boundary or a road is not in the right place, all this can happen. So I've established two formats, basically point and line. So that's how it works. But if these points also combine, in a closed area that's a line that covers an enclosure that's what we now call it area so we can have them in different formats like that and that's basically you know big or wide or expansive so that's it about those three uh, basic formats for geography and geographical data we can have outliers for areas or polygons we can have outliers for lines we can have outliers for points. So as we build up in subsequent uh, courses, it's not for this beginner course, we will go into deeper waters. But I'm sure with the fundamentals that you have learned here, you know, we can now build without fear that you will misunderstand. So thank you so much for your time. This is the end of the entire Model 7, where we talked about continuous variables in detail because they are the ones who are most of the culprit. We have been able to powerfully use the collapse command, powerfully also use the graph command to produce um, outputs that help us understand inconsistencies. So, thank you so much for your time. We're going to see in Model 8 where we'll be talking about date formats or time time variables basically you know there will be time and um, time is a function of date and function of um, clock so i've started letting the color of the back let's meet in module eight wonderful session coming up and i'm sure you're going to enjoy it take good care we'll see in module eight